Thank you, gentlemen. Sonny Lee and the Seven on Ridge Orchestra. Okay, my next guest tonight is an energetic performer and skilled songwriter from East Chicago, Indiana. He was selected by Midwest Beats Magazine's readers as the favorite male vocalist. And his voice print CD, which I have right here, was chosen by NWI.com as the number one Chicagoland independent CD. A huge honor indeed. We are thrilled to welcome to our show tonight, Robbie Celestin. Robbie! Hi, Robbie, how are you? Good seeing you. You too, here. have a seat. Wow. You know, we were um, chatting a little bit backstage. Yes. You're obviously a very gifted performer, well, thanks. musically, but you're also a funny guy. You've been on the radio, you've yes. done some things. Where, where might have people heard you? The Loop. I was, uh, I was on the Danny Bonaducci show for about a year doing funny, goofy sports bits <laughs> for a bit. And uh, yeah, it was a good time. I, I actually, you know, I, I was never, I was more into the music side of entertainment and the writing side, but then I, I, I happened to hear him on the show and he was giving away the world his first day. Whatever you guys need, call me, call me, call me. So I called him in and said, hey, you don't have anybody doing sports. He's like, well, you want to do it? Come on in. So I, I don't think they ever expected me to show up. But I came in and I, I did a bit and he was shocked. They were all shocked that somebody was there. Like, oh, we didn't expect him to actually <laughs> be here. But they called me in and, uh, and at first I thought he hated my guts. And then the light, the, uh, the on air light kind of went off, and we went to commercial, and he just pulled in and said, I want him here every day. We're going to do this. And I ended up being a part of the show, so it was fun. And it yeah. clicked. It just, and it sometimes clicked. you just have to have the, the courage to sort of go out there and try it. Yeah, right? I, I'm so impressed with you because having to do that, you know, mainly, I, I, you know, I didn't have as many segments, you know, but I, every day I had to figure out what's, what's funny today. I, I had to find the funny in the day. And to do it for a long, long time like you is just, it's impressive. It's, it's, well, it's fun. It's fun because I get to meet and work with people like yeah, you. But you have toys. I, I do have Growing toys. Growing up, I never had the, the coolest toys in the world. I have you know. a gigantic You have a band and rooster. a rooster. I do, A, a band yes. and a rooster. And the band so. is much cooler than the rooster. <laughs> Not to... Hey, watch it. It's, it's... I love you, Kaka. I don't know what you're talking about. It's debatable. You never know. Yes, it's debatable. Uh, you've done some amazing things in your career. I know you've you've uh, you've traveled. Yes. You've performed at the White House. Yes. Yeah, that was a great time. It was it was for one of the Christmas shows, and just just amazing. Uh, you know, I mean, it's more surreal to go through the back door of the White House and see the inner workings in the rooms that we don't all see than it is to actually do the show. The show is just surreal. You're, you're glassed over and you, you, you go back. But to, to, yeah, to see the, the inner workings and you know, see CIA guys or FBI guys or whoever's really, the guys. The guys, the guys, with the, the guys you don't want to mess the with. The guys with the ear pieces you don't want to mess with, you know, they're not listening to the game. I mean, they're, se <laughs> it, they're serious. And yeah, to, to see all the inner workings was really cool. That was an honor. Yeah. Who are some fellow performers, people you, you look up to that you've gotten an opportunity to work with? Oh my gosh. Well, you know, I, I got to meet Smokey Robinson, and that's that's wow. pretty huge. That's pretty huge. You know, the 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 list of you know who who I'm into. I, my father was a singer in a group called the Enchanters, and they uh, they were an old '60s Atlantic soul. Oh, somebody. Yeah, one we get. give a shout out to them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so he, you know, he was, you know, for a, he's more of a footnote, I guess, in musical history. You know, they they didn't excel that much in the in the big, you know, in the in the big world of music. But you know, they performed with the Temptations and the Jackson Five and things like that. So my mom had little little ja Michael Jackson on her lap for that evening, you know, in between the the shows. And so I think I was brought up on a lot of that stuff at first. The Motown, the Temptations, and Chicago, Chicago Soul, by the way, which they should give more, more props to. Because everybody knows Motown, but Chess Records and a lot of that stuff. I, Absolutely. I grew up on a lot of that, you know. And then, of course, later on, everybody else, you know, everybody from Dave Matthews to Blues Traveler to, you know. In, in the Chicagoland area, I don't really think the show business community or the music industry really gives enough credit to the yeah. talent oh. in our neck of the woods. Why is that? So true. It's it's out there and I and I, I feel like the the fact that it doesn't have the same East Coast, West Coast attack, even an attitude, you know, there's so many talented people in town uh, who get cherry picked by a lot of bigger acts, by the way, to, to work with yeah. them. But they, they they definitely don't stick their chests out. They they have a Midwestern here we are, we're just making some music and having some fun. Yeah. It's Doing a vibe. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I have to admit, you know, I've met some of the greatest musicians. You know, I've I've been around the world and I've I've met some amazing people, but in Chicago I've met some of the most 
amazing musicians I've ever seen. And I'll, no matter where I end up, I think Chicago is always going to be home for me. So it's an amazing community, wow. amazing, amazing town. Amazing. Speaking of amazing, your album Voice Prince yes. is doing really well. It's it's been fun, a fun ride doing that. Yeah, yeah. And you're gonna do a number for us tonight. What what do you have in store for us? Well, I, you know, actually, we're, we're, we're I think we're doing a couple, and this is a special sneak preview. By the way, this is the uh -huh. I just finished a, a new song okay. called Coming Home. It has not been released yet, and this is the first time it's ever really been. So we're going to get a, yeah. a preview tonight. Yes, oh, yes. this is exciting. Spoiler alert. Spoiler so alert. <laughs> I want to mention your website, RobbieCelestin.com. Yes. That's where people can find out more find about you. Out everything you need to know. I, I work with a bunch of different groups, and, and just go to RobbieCelestin.com. You can pick up a CD on iTunes. It's a good CD, I promise. And uh, I yeah. can vouch for that. <laughs> well, enough talking. Let's get to some singing. How All about right, that? Let's, let's that. hear it for Robbie Celestin, everybody. <laughs>